In this tutorial, we're going to go over the NotiSlide Notification Systems basic setup. So as you can see, we're in uh, Unity here. Uh, right now I just have a main camera and a background that I put on the screen. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create a new game object. We'll call this Notification. And we'll add the Notification Slide C Sharp script. And as you can see, we have a bunch of variables that we can set up here. Uh, so the first thing you see is is animating. Uh, that's a public bool to see if the notification is sliding in or out. Uh, you can access that from all your other scripts. Uh, the start position and end position are a little tricky. I'm going to open up preview to show you how this works. Basically, uh, it's off a corner or 0 to 1 ratio uh, that we can set up for our X and Y positions. So if we want to slide in via the X axis from a starting point of this X value to this X value, we would just set up a range between 0 and 1. Or if you want to go beyond 1 or less than 0, that's going to be your off screen. Now usually I use the negative values or above one to stay off screen at start and then come on to screen for my end position so I'm sliding from off screen to on screen so let's try this out real quick uh, for this one I'm going to slide uh, on the y-axis so I'm going to make the two x values for my start and end the same. So it'll be about one quarter of the way onto the screen this way. And the y position, I'm going to start off screen. And I'm going to come on screen about 10% of the way. So this is going to be sliding from top to bottom. As you can see, we're below one here and we're above one here. Uh, speed. I'm just going to set to 4 so it's semi-slow, but still has a nice slide effect. Uh, on wait, on screen wait time, I'm going to make 2 seconds. Now layer height is set up for different uh, layers that you're going to have on. Basically it sets the Z on your position. Uh, so if you want different layers of GUI textures, you can set that up. I'm just going to set it to 1 for right now. Uh, we can select the background texture, which I'm just going to make uh, this black outline right here. And we can set up the background size, which I'm going to make 500 by 30. Uh, we can make our text that's going to be over top of the background. So we'll just say something like information, task added. Okay. And then we could set our offset for our text based off the top left corner on the background, uh, the background texture. So I am going to make that 10 and 10. We can also anchor the text, align it, uh, change the line spacing, and the tab size. Uh, you recognize those from any GUI text. And I'm going to make the font a white font. And we'll make it 15 and leave it normal. Now let's see that run and see if it slides in properly. As you can see, I have a notification controller already set up on my main camera uh, right here. And we're actually going to have to set the notification to slide it in. And we'll send it. And you can see it slides into the top and then slides away. Now if we wanted to slide on the x-axis instead of the y-axis, let's stop this real quick, uh, reset my notification, uh, we can jump, we can actually make the y-axis stable. Uh, so in this case I'm going to put this up to 0.9 so it stays about 90% up the screen. And we're going to slide in from negative 1.1 to keep it off the screen and we'll slide in uh, 2.5 is, is probably right, so let's leave it at there for right now. And 
we send it in and you see the slides in from the left. Now you can mess around with these, you can add more notification uh, notice slides uh, in as pretty much as many as you want or as many as you want to call from your notification controller.